My name is um, Carolyn Vidal, and I'm from Newport, Washington, uh, and this is my HQ story. I've been quilting about 50 years. I'd always enjoyed it. I made lots of tops. I finished most with just a piece of cloth and, and tie-dyed, or tied it behind because I didn't know what else to do. And then a girlfriend introduced me to machine quilting. And we went together to Sew Expo in um, Puyallup in Washington. And I was looking at various long arm quilting machines. And we, we had frequently gone to a little town of Afreda and rented them, the two of us together. And she would help instruct me on one doing hers. And I would try and do mine. And I absolutely loved it. I never thought I could afford one as a single school teacher. However, um, renting it for seven to 10 hours to do a big king or queen quilt became impossible after I had an accident. And with the accident, I had injured one knee and had several operations, totally destroyed it. As a result of that, injured the other. And the doctor's uh, prognosis was you must have double knee replacement. Not only was that a little bit inhibiting, but the fact that I would lose my option to machine quilt with my friend um, was almost devastating. We went again to Puyallup, and this time I happened to see the handy quilter. And the lights dawned on me. My surgery was coming up. Uh, this was a machine that I could afford. And if I worked really, really hard with my knees replaced, then I could possibly quilt because I could put it on at home. I could afford it as a single teacher, and I could quilt for an hour or so a day. And that was going to be my golden carrot. I needed one. Uh, possibly not one the doctor wanted because I convinced him to do two knees at once so that I could have one year of recovery. And I had the machine delivered just about six weeks before my surgery, and it was in the back room, set up, I had used it. That was my therapy. That got me going. A little at a time, within a month, I could go across with a straight line. After a while I was out, for a while I was quilting in my walker. And eventually, I do believe it is the carrot that got me where I'm walking and, and quilting all the time today. Actually, I'm probably not the best quilter in the world as far as traditional, because I do work full time. Uh, but I love to make special things for friends. Uh, I recently have a hairdresser who is undergoing um, breast cancer treatment. Uh, her favorite thing in the whole world is Mexico, going to Mexico. As a Spanish teacher, that touched my heart, and I decided that she needed Mexico forever. And I saw a technique where you take the bands of the various uh, landscapes, cut them or sew them across horizontally, then cut them and move them vertically. And I was making her Mexico forever. With the handy quilter, although I'm not an artist, I was able to do a sun and a, a porpoise jumping in a sailboat and seaweed around the various fish and pebbles on the pebbles following different patterns. But what I loved to do most was writing for she and her husband uh, love letters in the sand. Uh, Linda loves Roy, Roy loves Linda, and making her a special um, treat of Mexico forever.